Yo, what is up everybody? Today, I um, was actually watching something very, very nice and as I was about to, you know, finish and stuff. Um, yeah, I got a black screen on my beautiful Pop! OS install. And of course, I'm talking about installing a game. It was uh, at 99% and then suddenly, bam, black screen. And I was like, what could this be? You know, I was doing quite a lot. I was actually editing a file. I was doing a <coughs> fucking assignment and shit. And I was sick. You know, I was just having a good time, alright, I'm gonna stop being cringe. And then suddenly, big black screen. One thing that I was doing is I was installing some updates, and I'm very confused with the whole NVIDIA thing. I mean, I am very confused if I'm supposed to install updates, and like, I wanted to use CUDA for some stuff, you know. And I was very confused about which, like, fucking drivers to use. So everything was finally working. Uh, I had some light, I was in library hell and stuff, and I finally got everything working with like a, the flat pack version of some applications where I was like, alright, everything works. And then I saw the end, then suddenly OBS said the CUDA drive uh, well, it wasn't initializing, so I couldn't like record. And it might have been something to do with the fact that I fucked around a lot in the like configuration files. But then I looked at the pop shop and I saw oh, an update, and I, was, and I was like, okay, I have to remember from the previous time, it's probably going to be something, you know. Something update related, I just have to update and everything's going to work because I just installed like general, um, you know, just normal uh, pop OS update. So I was like, okay, probably what happened is it updated something in OBS, and now I have to update my normal, um, uh, like NVIDIA driver to like everything to be compatible. But at the same time, I was like, nah, that's like a little bit, I don't know, let's just try it for it. And that's what I did, and then suddenly after it was done installing, there was a beautiful um, black screen. So yeah, what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to try, first of all, show you what it is, and second of all, try to fix it by reinstalling the NVIDIA drivers. So, let's just restart my computer, and I'm going to show you exactly what happens, and... Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of annoying and weird and stuff. Also, my keyboard wasn't working, I had to unplug it, but that might have something to do with my BIOS settings, so... Yeah. So it might work now, because, okay, yeah, it does work now. I had to unplug it, I wonder if it's going to... Because I couldn't plug in, I couldn't use my keyboard, I had to use the on-screen keyboard first. I hope it works now. So yeah, you see the VGA type shit, you know? Okay, yeah, so the keyboard does work, but just to show... Okay, wait, I can't show my password, actually, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, luckily you don't. Okay, yeah, let's just turn the screen keyboard off, just to be sure. So yeah, I tried to log in, and this is what happens. is a mess. Alright, so obviously we don't see anything, so I read some stuff online, and let's try and see if we can fix it. So, first of all, press Ctrl Alt F5, and this brings up this beautiful um, window where I can see my um, login screen. So what we have to do is I have to type in my username, and then I have to type my password, so let's do that. And let's hope that we can log in here. And as you can see, we're logged in. And this is just a very nice terminal. And, uh, you know, terminal is a great tool because we can basically access the entire system here. Um, there's nothing crazy here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just um, do the same thing that we'll do in a um, uh, normal terminal. You know, and we can do some things here that might help. And, um, yeah, so let's try some shit. Um... So, we, I think, the, I'm thinking maybe it's, I should, like, reinstall the GNOME uh, display manager, because it didn't go past the login screen. Nah, okay. Um, I wrote down on this piece of paper here how I can reinstall the NVIDIA driver. Alright, so, first of all, okay. Just to show you how you can do this, because I found this online, you can use this command, LSPCI, and of course use grab. You can use this to determine if you have um, NVIDIA compatible drivers. And as you can see, we do 
then what we need to do is run the following commands to remove the NVIDIA driver. First of all, sudo apt purge, so just purge it for now. Oh, and then NVIDIA. Fully like uncomfortable to 
Oh, upgrade, of course, upgrade. All right, nothing over there. Then let's just do sudo apt install, and then just the generic system 76 driver NVIDIA. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the good one. No weird stuff over here. I will just do the CUDA thing separately. And uh, also, yeah, I think, you know, of course I'm still a beginner and I feel like there's so much more to learn and I want to really go deep, deep into how Linux works and just use it to my full advantage in the future. Like, I've, all these small experiences will eventually, you know, I'm able to build up my knowledge and just uh, know as much as possible. I'm going to hop a few distros. I already used to do a boot or multi-boot actually. Now I'm really, you know, trying to find the best distro for me. And probably it's going to end up being like Debian or something. Or Arch. Maybe Arch, who knows. Also it's so fast, like that's one thing that I'm especially appreciating. I like being a power user, you know. And this is really a step up from Windows. It's only these small things you need to know what you're doing. That, uh, you know, kind of, well, not a ruin. I'm learning a lot, but like if you are someone that doesn't like to learn or doesn't know a lot of about computers, you know, it's not really the best option. But to anyone that knows a little bit about computers, I really recommend it. Um, also, s s if you just have everything working, that's what I noticed with my uh, Ubuntu install. If you got everything working, you're good. Like, you can just, you know, chill, lay back, do everything you want. And, you know, the reason that I am probably not going to switch to Arch is because I hear a lot of people that have Arch and they constantly have to fix stuff, which is fun. And you have the most control, I'm pretty sure. But uh, Debian, you know, Debian packages, apps, um, package manager, uh, the support. I don't know, maybe Ubuntu is the best, but I hear like, I hear like people don't like it because of some things. And Pop OS is Ubuntu based. I think Mint or Debian, probably. Okay, so um, let's reboot. So what we're going to have to do is type system. Oh, or no, so, oh, sudo. Wait, what did we do? Or what was it called? Fast fetch or something? Fast fetch? Or neo, neo, not neo fetch to work. Oh. Oh, alright, so let's do. Because I want to know what it looks like without. Um, like, uh, colors, but. Let's do sudo system. Alright, nah, okay, let's just do sudo. Unless this will break my install. <laughs> no. Wait, what? I should read before I click yes. Did it say 35 megabytes? That's a lot. Oh, it does work. Damn. That's pretty ugly, but alright, colors work. Alright, so let's type su sudo system ctl reboot and see where we're at. Does it work? actually very very curious about this yeah it does damn that's crazy so can I log in Nervous. It's taking a lot longer than not usual. Oh yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's fucking go. Oh, that's so awesome. That's that's so awesome. So I'm just back. Everything works, I assume. You know, I got my things here. You know, and I got my. Oh yeah, this all works. So this is what I was working on, like setting this up. And, uh, oh, that's. What do, does the sound work again? Sorry, I have headphones in. That's one thing that we have to do real quick, by the way. Out of range, it says. Oh, 
on my monitor, so yeah, it switched back on. Right. Um, you know, one issue that I had was like with the sound. It's now reinstalling and shit. Did, did it like fix something where I can like you now I can actually hear from both speakers? It did. Damn, bro. So this fixed all my issues. Just installing that thing, the Nvidia driver. So if I go to the pop shop now, what will it say? It shouldn't like give me like updates for things that will break my system, but I kind of get it. Kind of get it. So oh, now it's using this one, but this is the one I installed, and this is the one I had installed. Um, okay, and what if I go to like OBS because this was the thing that didn't work? Oh. Yeah, let's just really quickly. This. Let's just do it in this folder, quick, because this is just okay. It works, all right. And does it have like NVIDIA and Vank and stuff? Yeah, it has. That's pretty great, man. That's pretty great. Okay, and uh, no NVIDIA toolkit problems. I see. Yeah, another thing. Maybe that is here because I have this like plugin. No, that, that doesn't work yet, but that's fine, I don't care. At least this works. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy, man, I'm really happy. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty great, I guess that was the video. My shit is working again. I, d I do like, I do like Linux. It's just when you fuck it up, you fuck it up, but then you fix it and that's all fine, you know. Nothing, nothing crazy, crazy happens. You have to do something really weird to fuck up your shit and you know you can get it back and every it's so smooth again bro it's so nice it just feels amazing it looks amazing and everything so it instantly just it's like this dopamine hit that it gives me you know so uh yeah thank you for watching